Hey guys, this is Mrs. Perry and I want to show you how to finalize and even share your Wii video. So um, when you are finished with your Wii video, so I'm going to go ahead to Teacher's Helper, the one I've been using as an example, and I have it finished. I have the title, kind of the beginning portion, even a background added, music, so the audio kind of increases and even decreases. I've added the bells and whistles. I've got my moving credits and I even have like an end scene that says, thanks for watching. So I'm like, this is good. I'm done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to the finish and I'm going to click finish. Um, and when you do give it the name, if your teacher has a specific name that kind of identifies who you are and what class you belong to, make sure you have the correct name that your teacher gave you. Um, most projects, you don't need to go all fancy HD. Just do SD. You do want the video. You don't want to cut out any of the other stuff. Um, but you can choose which thumbnail you want to have. Okay. Um, none of these are very good. So if you want to go to YouTube, there's a way to actually make that better. Um, maybe it's after the fact you can choose your thumbnail. If you're a YouTube person, then that's probably where you have to do it anyways. So I'm just going to go ahead and just have the boring screen or maybe I'll have the credits. I don't know. Um, not necessarily happy with any of these thumbnails. Uh, but when I go ahead, um, this one here, it says it's going to download as a Wii video, which is just fine. Um, Google Drive. I do want to use Google Drive. Uh, most of you guys probably won't use the YouTube, but if you are making something, you know, for your YouTube channel, that'd be a good one to click as well. And of course, you'll have to make sure that's linked to Wii video, which isn't too hard. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to press export. Dun, dun, dun. Um, and then it's going to say, hey, uh, your video is queued. You don't have to keep this window open. We'll send you an email when your video is ready. So um, of course, you wait for that email to come. So I waited. Uh, so now I'm going to go ahead and go to Seesaw. Uh, if you need to share this in Google Drive, it's not too hard. Just make sure you go into the assignment that the teacher gave it to you with. And then when you go in that right hand corner, um, you're going to add and you can either add a link depending on how you uh, your teacher wanted you to share it or you can add it directly from Drive. So if you download it from Drive, you can add it from Drive. Um, that's kind of nice. I kind of like the direct upload from Drive better than a link because that allows me to view it within whatever it is I'm watching, whether it's in Seesaw or whether it's in um, Google Classroom because the link's going to take me out of there and that means each time I press somebody's it's going to take me to a new tab um, and that could kind of get annoying. So um, either way, as long as it's shared, you know, just make sure you do whatever your teacher wants you to do, whether it's through a link or through your classroom. So I'm going to go ahead um, once you're in here, I'm going to go to back to class. Um, so you might have an activity, so it'd be assigned to class. So you might have to click on that activity. Let's see. Oh, I haven't assigned it. I just created the activity, which makes it a little bit hard. So after they assign it, make sure you share it where your teacher wants you to share it. But I'm just going to go to the basic adding to the journal that's in Seesaw. So I'm going to go ahead and click add. Um, uh, I'm going to say I'm going to post my student work. All right. Um, and when you do that, you get all these options here. So like I said, if you have the link, you can click on link and you can add it that way. So let's come back here. Um, it says it'll open up when it's ready. Let's go ahead and go to exports. I think I already made one. So see, I'm making another one. That's OK. Um, so I'm going to open this up and you can actually just use the link that's right there on the top of your browser if you're sharing it via link. OK, so when you do that, I'm going to control C or you can two finger click and then choose copy. And then I'm going to go back to Seesaw and you would just click on the link one here and you would control V or however you want to do that. So I'm going to say, yep, I want to do the link. The link's going to give you kind of a thumbnail or just a shot of what it's going to look like when you open it, but it will open up in a new link. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Goodbye. Nope. Don't want you. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and go over here as well. So you can upload if you downloaded it like to your computer, you'd go search to your computer. If you download it to the drive, you just go ahead and say select from drive. It might have you sign into your drive if it's not already connected. Um, I usually have my students sign in with their Google account, so that's not too much of an issue. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and click on stop motion. Hopefully it's one of the more recent ones. If not, you might have to go digging for that video. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my stop motion. Dun, dun, dun. Perry Productions presents. All right. So I like this. We're going to go ahead and go with it. I'm going to upload and that's really all you need to do. Just make sure when it's done, if it gives you like a press OK, you press OK. All right. Um, I don't think you need to stay here for the whole entire upload. Uh, if you need any help, you can always ask me or your teacher.
you guys can do this.